Hello everyone, welcome to another timeless zodiac sign reading. So, first of all, I want to thank each one of you. Thank you so much for your kind wishes, your orders and lovely comments. I hope you would share more comments because it helps me to understand what I'm doing right and what I'm not doing incorrectly. Like this time somebody has asked me to do Celtic cross the way I used to do before. So I'm going to do Celtic cross today for all the signs. Uh, so another question that people ask me, which sign should you watch? So it is very tricky. It's uh, You should know your basic birth chart for that. There are a lot of free websites which uh, help you to see your basic uh, birth chart. I prefer the tropical zodiac sign. So I would say that uh, watch your birth chart from a tropical zodiac sign perspective. So which sign should you watch? Where you're headed in life, watch your sun sign. What are you experiencing in your mind right now? Uh, on a mental level, watch your moon sign. What you're experiencing physically in your physical environment, watch your ascendant sign. What you're experiencing in terms of relationships with others on one-to-one -one level, uh, especially the your significant one, watch your seventh house sign. And what you are experiencing in your career, watch your tenth house sign. If you have kids, what are they experiencing in their, their life right now? Uh, how it's affecting you and your relationship with your children, what's your fifth house sign? If you need to know something about your house, where you live, what's your fourth house sign? If you want to know about how your friends are going to help you or uh, bless you, what's your eleventh house sign? That's how it's considered. Uh, just the sun sign is great because it helps you to know where you're headed but you can watch all the other signs and get benefited in different ways. So each time you're stuck in your life and you're looking out for a message in certain aspect, so these timeless series, I've created sign-wise playlist now, which is available in the description box. You can go ahead and click a random video where you're guided to watch that video. Uh, that video will have your message. So the intention is that when I do these readings, so feel free to access all these timeless videos and let's get started with today's reading. Hello everyone, welcome to this timeless zodiac sign reading. This is for Scorpio. So this time as you have heard, I am doing a Celtic cross like I used to do before, back to traditional reading. Hopefully I will continue doing these kind of readings sometimes. I know it improves the credibility of the reading because I pick the cards in front of you, but uh, I always do pick a, pick the cards with the right intentions, but let's do this one for this time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so the theme here is nurture it is the empress card in the traditional tarot so you need to nurture the uh, energies and opportunities that are coming towards you for manifesting what you want to manifest because this is the right time for you to get deeper into positive energies and work toward manifestation. This is definitely going to help you in the right way. So I'll show you the cards uh, as and when I read them. And let me lay out the cards first. So what we have here is clarifying your thoughts uh, right at the beginning. It says that in the past you were trying to find the right answers, but it was difficult for you to know which path is correct and you were just working as a uh, machine, an automation. If somebody asked you to move left, you, work, you move left. If somebody asked you to take a turn, uh, 
towards right, you would have done that. Somebody would have asked you to walk backwards, you would have done that. Uh, in past, you had done that a lot, and now you realize that that was not correct. And in your mind, you are uh, very challenged and confused. Why did you not think before uh, following those instructions? But now, uh, enough is enough. You have taken enough instructions. It's also a time for you to give instructions to people to back off and take lead of your life. You just have to uh, work towards your own manifestations right now. You cannot rely on others to tell you how to manifest your dreams. You are in control and you need to take control of that and manifest your dreams on your own. You really cannot do that uh, depending on others and definitely uh, you cannot focus on others instructions right now. So what you can do right now is to focus on your own self and so stop thinking about what others are telling you. Sorry, I had to pause in between because there was something going on in the background. What's lying below the surface or underneath in your subconscious is you refusing to see that you can take the lead now. You don't have that confidence. but. Uh, you really need to build up that self-confidence right now. Otherwise, it be be little difficult for you to achieve what you want. But then something is telling me that maybe it's your lesson to go through this uh, confusing phase because once uh, you get really confused and there's, you make some mistakes, then you realize that you need to spread your wings. On a social level, what I see is that people, not everyone, uh, very few uh, well-wishers of you will be challenging you to open your wings and take the lead. There are very few people in your social life who will, are seeing that and asking you to change your focus in life and build up that self-confidence, build up that energy that is required for you to move forward in life and understand that what you're doing right now is not correct and what you have been uh, doing even in the past was totally incorrect. Now I understand because I can relate to this one of my friends. Uh, he's also a Scorpio and has been doing a lot of things under pressure uh, for many years but suddenly realizes that doesn't mean anything what has whatever he has achieved wants to do something different and still doesn't have the confidence to actually uh, stand up for himself and say what he really wants in his life because that's how he has been functioning for last several years, maybe 10, 15, 20 years, and now it's an habit to surrender to others' wishes, thinking that this is the only way and this is only right to sacrifice. But if he, it, it is an eternal cycle, right? If you sacrifice uh, yourself for others, then you expect others to sacrifice for you. Nobody uh, follows their heart's desire and then life get, gets over complicated and then they say yes this is life and who created that life you or somebody else that's the question that is supposed to be answered uh, most of the people around you except for these well wishers one or two well wishers are thinking that you are dread uh, you really are daydreaming right now and have nothing solid on the ground to start something on something new or something good in your life and you should continue your living your life as 
you were living before and you definitely should not be doing anything different right now and that's their fear that you might follow your dream and put everything in uh, a different perspective and leave everything behind and that is something that they fear right now and your own fear is that you will lose your strong bond with certain people who matters to you especially uh, family members of course those family members don't understand what you wish right now but then that's where you need to show them or show yourself what is the bigger picture and how things are fitting into one another if you cannot show the bigger picture to your family members and how things fit in then you definitely are in for uh, more confusion which anyhow you have created right now because you are refusing to see the reality and the moment you start see the big picture and start showing this big picture to the people that matter to you suddenly you will see that life is coming back to full circle and giving you a big opportunity to live your life the way you want and to surrender to your destiny which is not that bad and not fight against it to surrender to your true inherent qualities and not to act or behave like someone else which the society wants to see in you but start behaving the way you actually are and suddenly you see that everything is falling in place and you'll understand why you had to live a superficial life and how you can stop living a superficial life to live a more natural life uh, because living a superficial life was important to understand the importance of your natural life you'll understand that so that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video if you have a question to ask for a personal reading please follow the links below i'll be more than happy to do a reading for you until next time bye bye